Opening the Optimation software, you will find the three tools with which it can interface. DAT1400, MCT1302 and UWT6008. In this case, you will see the automation used on DAT1400. The weight indicator can be automatically connected to the software. Here you can find the main information of DAT1400. Firmware version, full scale, kind of field bus and the theoretical analog output. At the top of the window you will find a series of drop-down menus where you can select the language, Italian or English, the connection, online or offline and other secondary functions. With offline connection you can use the software as a reader of pre-saved configurations. Below these menus you can find a setup button and a display of the current weight. If you go with the mouse cursor over the weight, it will appear other function keys, such as documentation, tests and logger. The documentation key allows you to open a folder where you can find the manuals in PDF format of the various weighing tools. The test key allows you to check if the tool has some problems. It is possible to carry out automatic tests on the RS232 serial port on the RS485 serial port or on the memory. Furthermore, you can also carry out simulation of the analog output and the test on the inputs and outputs. The logger key allows you to create files in Excel where the instrument logs data will be saved according to the selected parameters. Log interval, type of data log. The main button is Setup, which permits the total configuration of the DAT1400. The first menu is Calibration. Here you have to configure several parameters. The maximum weight of the system, the average sensitivity of the load cells, a possible pre-tear, a full scale of work and a scale division. Once these main parameters have been entered, the instrument will perform a theoretical calibration. At the end of each modification, you have to save the data by clicking on the lower bar of the window, where there is a message in red. Some data are not saved. It is also possible to calibrate using simple and fast steps. Once the system is unloaded and stable, the zero key can be used to zero the weight. Next, apply a known weight and write in the box its value. Click on the Acquire button to perform the calibration with a sample weight. It is also possible to perform table calibration and display a graph to monitor the linearity of the system. By selecting the Filter function key, you access the filter management of the instrument. In the screen, you will find a dynamic graph where you can see the unfiltered weight in blue and the effect that the selected filter has on the system in green. On the left side, instead, you will find a selection of the filter, where you can choose among nine preset values or select the manual function and unlock all the parameters below. This will allow you to customize the weighing instrument. In this way, each user can customize the weighing tool as much as possible to suit his needs. The next function key is parameters, where you can adjust the weight stability, the automatic zero, the zero track and the zero band. With the in and out function key you can access the input and the output menu and you can select which function to combine with the inputs. Set the output thresholds and all the related parameters such as mode, type, stability, signal, hysteresis, time and delay. With a communications key, you can configure the parameters of the RS232, of the RS485 and of the field bus, if present. In the serial configuration, for example, you can select the mode of operation, the communication protocol, the baud rate and the data frame. The next function key is analog, where you can configure the analog output by selecting the operating range, the mode of use, the values associated with zero and with the full scale. 
There is a hidden function that can be unlocked by pressing the CTRL plus key keys to adjust the offset of the analog output. Using the functions key, you can set secondary functions of the instrument, such as a standby time, the possibility to lock every single key of the instrument, change the background color of automation, insert a pin code to the instrument, or enable the pick function. The function key, wait, allows you to open a dynamic graph where you can monitor the progress of the system in order to analyze any anomalies. The button backup is one of the most interesting and useful features of automation. Through this menu, it is possible to save the complete configurations and to keep the calibrations in memory. The file created will be file.mem. This feature is very useful, especially to keep track of every installed tool. In case of failure, you can load a configuration on the new instrument, making it immediately operational. You will just have to perform the zero calibration. The reset button allows you to reset the instrument to factory settings. Please remember that the instrument will lose every parameter previously configured.